It's hard. Let me, let me read it. If Cursito runs 50 yards in 10 seconds, what is the unit rate he runs at? Oh, it's hard. It's hard. What are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing the unit problem that our teacher left us. That is so easy, easy, man. man. What I know is that unit means per one. For real? I, hey, I know that unit means per one. Yeah, all right. Unit per one, right? He runs at... I'm still confused. All right, come. We're gonna we're gonna show you guys the song. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Look, when you're doing a unit problem, it is great to divide the top by the bottom to get the unit rate. What? Come get it. It is great to divide the top by the bottom to get the unit rate. Oh, let's go out together. It's great to divide the top by the bottom to get the unit rate. It is great to divide the top by the bottom to get the unit rate. Go. Wow, Crucito, that was five yards per second. You probably should film this one first. It is. It is great to divide the top by the bottom to get the unit rate. We're done. 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 Change the sign to the second number and go on the attack. What? Look it, it's so simple. Change the, the subtraction to a positive, change it to, to addition, addition. Okay. then you change this to a positive, and you go 80 plus 15, what is it? 95. Oh yeah, it's, it's simple as that. What you're saying is that it's right to subtract, to change it to addition, change the sign of the second number, and go on the attack? Yeah! yeah. So it. what is 7? Negative 7 plus negative 4? Negative 11? Yeah! yeah. Simple as... What, what, what do you guys say? It's it great to divide the top by the bottom to get the unit rate. It is whack to subtract, to change it to addition, and change it to the number, and go on the attack. Alright.